Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success, an online free educational institute. So we are continuing with the WBCS series and today we will be starting the geography section for WBCS 2018 preliminary examination. So here what we have done, we have divided the entire India into six different parts based on the administrative divisions of India. And uh, today we will be starting with the northeastern part of India. So the name of the video is Northeast India, a geographical overview. So this video is brought to you by Pioneer of Success. So before starting the video, I'd like to thank the Shatuguru Chakravarti MTech in Chemical Engineering IIT Guwahati because he has made the entire slide and I'm just presenting it. So uh, this video is presented by me, uh, Shishwani Mitra, research scholar of Indian Institute of Technology Guwahati. And this is my email ID. If you have any queries, you can write me email. Okay, uh, so this is the administrative division of India and uh, it, you all know that uh, this uh, division was made in 1956 by state reorganization act so we'll be talking separately on this act in a separate video uh, but today the main purpose is to show you what are the divisions so you can see here in different color i have shown the sections so this is the northern part this is the central part this is the eastern part southern part, western part and this is the northeastern part we will be talking about today. So these are the six sections so from this figure only you can imagine what are the states situated here in the northern section and those are Chandigarh, Delhi, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab and Rajasthan in the northern section. Now, now we come to the northeastern zonal council so this part. So here we have Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura. This is called Seven Sister and the state of Sikkim. The main interesting part is this Sikkim is not connected with this northeastern state but still we, uh, we take this in northeastern zonal council. So now I come to the central zonal council. It comprises of states of Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh. And then Eastern Zone, our West Bengal falls here. So this is the Eastern Zone. You can imagine what are the states. And those are Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and West Bengal. So then we come to Western Zonal Council. So this is the Western Zonal Council. And the states are Goa, Gujarat, Maharashtra. And with this, we have Dadra, Nagar, Habeli, Daman and Diu. Uh, those are Union Territories. And we have in our Southern Council, the states of uh, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Lakshadi, Puducherry, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, and the uh, okay, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Those are involved. Okay, and one more important thing, Lakshadi are not members of any general council. So there might be a question, uh, which Lakshadi belongs to which general council? The answer would be none. Okay, we move forward. So here we have collected few information about the northeastern part of India and that will be very much helpful for your preparation because each point I have pointed here might be a MCQ question. So the northeast India is the eastern most, far most part of India. All of you know by the, by the time. Okay, it consists of eight states and those are seven sisters and your Sikkim. Seven of these states are contiguous, that is together or in sequence, and those seven are called seven sisters. These states are called seven sisters, as I have already pointed out. Sikkim is the eighth state and does not share a border with any of the other seven. So that you should know. And there might be a question. The northeast covers a land area of yeah, a land area of 2,62,179 square kilometer. So this much area we have in our northeastern India. And the location, uh, if you want to know, it is 89.46 east to 97.30 east and uh, 21.57 degree north to 29.30 degree north. This is not so much important, but if you are if you are curious enough, then you can memorize this data. 
so we move forward yeah before moving uh, let me show you the map so here you can see this is the state of assam it is sharing border with all other states and those are tripura mizora manipur nagaland arunachal pradesh the sequence is very much important because there might be a question suppose if we go from this portion to this portion what would be the states so you have to understand this is mizoram this is manipur then nagaland then arunachal pradesh so if somebody tells you if we move from west to east this is the west this is east then what are the states coming initially tripura then mizoram then manipur so like that question may be there so you have to know the map properly so first point is assam is sharing borders with all other states not only that it is sharing border with this is bhutan and this is bangladesh so assam is sharing border with two international two international border with bhutan and bangladesh and with all other states and here we have meghalaya and tripura both these states are sharing border with bangladesh and this states mizora manipur nagaland and arunachal pradesh which is sharing border with myanmar because this portion is your myanmar so all these states are sharing border with myanmar and arunachal pradesh is sharing border with china this portion is your china okay so these things you have to know okay so here is a geographical and physical map of northeastern india so as i have already pointed out this is your bhutan and this is myanmar this is bangladesh so here we have assam so assam is sharing border with bhutan and bangladesh in this portion and uh, this uh, states mizoram manipur nagaland is a sharing borders with myanmar and this is china tibet so arunachal pradesh is sharing border with china this is this is dhaka okay now a few more important things so here altitude is given so you can see here this uh, anything in white whitish is more than 3000 so here mostly the altitude is falling in in arunachal pradesh you see the altitude is higher because it is falling from 1800 to 3000 in this portion so in northeastern states if you if i ask which state has the highest altitude so it would be arunachal pradesh so that might be a question then in this portion is a hilly portion hilly area your meghalaya hilly area that's why you can see here meghalaya manipur nagala this this states the altitude is higher compared to assam tripura and the southern part of mizoram okay so you have to know the altitude distribution not so important but for just for the purpose of learning and few mcq questions you have to go through the map properly okay now i have pointed out few information regarding north eastern india and each of them might be a mcq question first point since the north east india is primarily a hilly region we first look at the mountain ranges that are present here so first important thing is the mountain ranges there are 10 mountain ranges found in this region those are lesser himalaya yeah this is a lesser himalaya also known as the mahabharat range so that might be a question what is mahabharat range nothing but the lesser himalaya located where it is located sikkim nepal border so you need to understand few things the name of the range where it is located and some important thing about it then we have assam himalaya assam here the lower himalayas are located sometimes known as assam himalayas it lies between the border of assam and bhutan so i have already show you shown you where the assam and bhutan border is there and that portion this assam himalaya is located then himalayas there, there is a range which is called himalaya itself and this is situated in arunachal pradesh mostly i have already told you this portion the altitude is higher and this is situated in arunachal pradesh then we have patkai range then we have garo khasi jantia hill this is situated in meghalaya then we have patkai boom range so all those ranges are present we have jampui hills it is uh, situated in tripura 
So there might be a question where Jumpy Hill is located. The answer would be Tripura. Then you have Chin Hills. These hills are a part of Arakan mountain range. So those mountain ranges are important. You have to know about them and MCQ questions might be there from this portion. So we move forward. Okay. So the surprisingly, Arunachal Pradesh is the largest state of Northeast. The population of Northeastern India, how much? Yeah, the population is four crore fifty-seven lakhs. According to two thousand eleven census data, census data, entire population of Northeast is four point five crores around. So compared to West Bengal, West Bengal has around ten crores of population. So half of half of the population of West Bengal. Arunachal Pradesh is the most sparsely populated, while Assam is the most densely populated. So these two information may can make two different questions. Which is the sparsely populated state in northeastern India? Not only in northeastern India, in entire India, Arunachal Pradesh is the sparsely populated. Assam is the densely populated. Okay, then we have. Yeah, this is an important point. Uh, the northeast is connected to the rest of India by 30 kilometer wide corridor in Siliguri West Bengal, and it is also called Chicken Neck Corridor. So there might be a question: What is Chicken Neck Corridor? Why it is called Chicken Neck Corridor? Because this portion is very narrow. It looks like a chicken neck of a chicken. That's why it's called Chicken Neck Corridor. So there might be a question. So entire northeast is connected with the rest of the India by Siliguri. Assam is the only state in India which borders seven states plus two international borders with Bangladesh and Bhutan, which I have already pointed out. Okay, now I'll take you through some more information, and those are the ranges that were mentioned are mostly offshoots of Great Himalayas. So basically, this is a part of Himalaya, extended part of Himalaya. It is interesting to note that the same Seismic activity or Mesozoic period that gave rise to the Himalayas also gave rise to these hills, mainly the Batkai Range. That means uh, there is a theory the seismic activity which gave rise to the Himalaya, and the age is almost similar. Assam Himalayas uh, also form in that period. So this is important. Uh, there might not be any question. Just I have pointed out. Okay, few important name a few passes. This is very important. In northeastern India, you can see these passes. Those are Nathula, Jalepula, Bombila. All those passes are there in Sikkim. These mountain ranges are incredibly rich in both flora and fauna, and feature in biodiversity hotspot. So here we found many kinds of flora and fauna, and this is very, very much important. You can have a look. There are many articles on flora and fauna. Of Northeastern India. If you have interest, you can go through. Okay, uh, let me pause it. So I have taken few images just to show you what are the places you can visit here in Northeastern India, and some traditional dance uh, cultures I've shared. So this is the image of Seven Sister Falls. You will find it in Meghalaya. This is a very beautiful place. Uh, I have been there. So I will suggest you you come once to northeast and visit these places. Now in, you can ask me why am I putting these pictures while I'm teaching you? Because uh, I guess that the learning should be a fun process. And when you are studying geography, if you look at this picture, that actually motivates you to learn geography. So you can have the idea of geography, location, all this of all this area. Once you have the idea, then uh, You can have a plan to visit all these places, and that will actually help you in learning geography. Okay, so this is Majuli Island in Assam. This is the Asia's largest island. So all the pictures are bearing some information, and that might be a question. So this is Majuli Island, Asia's largest ever island. This is Loktak Lake, and it is situated in Manipur. So you have seen many where the question come where Loktak Lake is situated. So I have taken the image of that. If you see how nice it is, you can have a visit to this place. This is Dauki. Uh, this is in Bangladesh border, situated in the state of Meghalaya. 
this is also a nice place you can do boating here people actually go here for boating uh, there is a bridge people stay here and see boating but this is a nice place i have been to this place also and this is the moling nong the asia's cleanest village and it is also situated in meghalaya there was a question recently in wbpsc in assistant program officer where moling nong is located the answer would be meghalaya okay so here is the traditional bihu dance of assam this is a uh, hornbill festival of nagaland this is a famous festival this is guru guru dangmal lake in sikkim you know this is a famous spot sikkim is a beautiful place you can visit sikkim and this is a dance uh, this is a tribal dance of tripura it is called hojagiri uh, and uh, luckily i have seen this dance uh, in a conference i have visited so from all these figures actually you will get the motivation to come to north east and not only that you will get the motivation to learn about north east in india okay let me proceed so some population data i have taken here so few important things assam has the highest population in this north east india so the population of assam is around 3.12 crores and uh, sikkim has the least population it is only 6 lakh 6 lakh 10000 somewhere like that and now we come to population density i have already pointed out arunachal pradesh has the least population density it is sparsely populated and it is only 17 per square kilometer and assam has the highest population density and it is 397 people per square kilometer Uh, you, you can pause the video and you can have the other data i have collected the data from wikipedia that's why i always suggest you to go through the wikipedia page that will give you very prominent information and which will be pertinent to your preparation okay so here i have pointed out the capitals of different northeastern state Uh, these are very important because people forget the capitals of northeastern states. So here in Arunachal Pradesh, the capital is Itanagar, very nice place. Assam, the capital is uh, Bishpur. Now in Bishpur, Manipur, capital is Imphal. Shillong is the capital of Meghalaya. Aizawl is the capital of Mizoram. Nagaland is uh, Nagaland's capital is Kohima. Sikkim capital is Gangtok, a very nice place. You visit once. Tripura, the capital is Agartala. I have been there to Agartala. Okay, so I guess this information helps you a lot in learning North East in India. So I request you to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Kindly share this video on social media so that we get the motivation to upload more videos. And thank you very much.